In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily sync your WooCommerce and Square inventory. So if you're selling products in a store and on your website, it's really important to make sure that your inventory is always in sync. To pull this off, all you need is a Square account, WooCommerce installed, and one plugin to pull this off. The first step you need to do is install this plugin called Square for WooCommerce. I'll leave a link in the description below, but as you can see, this is on the official WooCommerce website and it's developed by WooCommerce. Now, before I continue with the tutorial, I wanna go over some limitations that this plugin has and some overall limitations with the Square platform. So as you can see here, there are some simple requirements you need to install this plugin. Um, an account with Square, uh, WooCommerce version 3.0, a valid SSL certificate, and as of right now, Square is only in the US, Canada, Australia, Japan, and the UK. Now, there are a lot more limitations when it comes to actually integrating this with your Square account. And a recent project has brought me over to this article, which is a really uh, good article that goes over how this plugin works and its limitations. Now, I'm going to go over what it is that you can sync with WooCommerce and Square. And the simple things that you are going to be able to sync are your products, your product categories, prices, uh, inventory numbers, which is what this whole tutorial is about, and the product images or featured image. Now down in this section, they go over what are some of the limitations with this Square plugin. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of them. And the biggest ones that stood out in the last use case was this one right here. Um, if you have multiple locations in your Square account, uh, this plugin might not work correctly. So it's best to just have one location uh, if you have a Square and you want to sync it up to your WooCommerce. Another one we ran into is this one right here. You can only have a single attribute for your variable products. So if you have in your WooCommerce settings a lot of attributes on top of your variable products, uh, this just doesn't work at all, really. So if you start to run into issues uh, syncing up your inventory or your products in general between uh, WooCommerce and Square using this plugin, go back to this article and see if there's something in here that matches your use case. Okay, so now that we got all of that out of the way, this is what it's going to look like after you install and activate this Square plugin. So once you activate it, if you head over to your WooCommerce, your settings, you're going to see a new tab called Square up here. And I'm gonna walk you through each of these steps to actually sync up your inventory correctly. So the very first thing you need to do is go in here and connect it with your Square account. So let me just go ahead and do that. And you just click right here, yes. That is redirecting me back into here. So that worked because I was actually already logged into my Square account. So um, if you click that box and it makes you log in, you just log in like you normally would and you'll be prompted back to the screen. So the very first thing you need to make sure is, just like I mentioned the limitations, that you select the current location. So your business location, um, and that is under your account settings right here. And if you go under business and location. So right now I just have a physical location here. Um, but like I said, this does have some limitations, so you can't have multiple locations on a product. Um, it just doesn't really sync up correctly. So you want to make sure that if you're going to use it, you have to have the one location that you're going to stick with. So let me go back into items. Okay, so I just selected that. Now this is uh, the product system of your record. So this is where is it that you're going to have your inventory? And you need to make a decision if you want to have it at Square or WooCommerce where like the master inventory is. Um, I would say in most use cases, you're going to want to keep it at the WooCommerce level. And the reason why I recommend this is because you can actually have multiple forms of payment on your WooCommerce uh, system and it will sync to your Square. So for example, we had a client who was taking Square and PayPal. And the issue the client was having is if somebody paid with the PayPal, it wasn't pushing the inventory over to Square because it just wasn't synced that way. So it's it, if you're going to take multiple payments, I recommend keeping it at WooCommerce. The next setting is you're going to want to click this button right here which says Sync Inventory. You want to click that and just hit Save. Now I'm going to show you how I have this demo website set up so you can easily follow along. So I just have two simple products in this website and I'm just going to focus on this one called Branding. So as you can see, I have a product called Branding, SKU number 001, and right now I have a stock of 26. So now if I go over to here, 
you can see branding is at 26. So I already have synced all this together before, so this all matches up correctly. So now I'm gonna show you how you can make sure that it is synced up. So what you need to do is go into each product. So if you look down here at general, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that we have this box selected right here, sync with square. Once you click that button, I recommend jumping over to your settings again, square. And if you click where it says update right here, what this will do is you can click this button called sync now and just hit start syncing. So now what this is doing is syncing over to your square account and just syncing those items together. So in this case, I just clicked that one button on branding, went here, sync now. So now it's going to just go ahead and make sure that it can sync the product together. And after a little bit, it's synced. So you can see right here, we just have two products in this example. If you have a whole bunch of products, the sync button might take a little bit longer. So now I'm gonna jump back into that branding item that we just did. I'll click back into it. And now if you go under inventory, like I said, that was selected. So now whenever you see this, this means it's correct. So whenever you go into here and you can see your quantity is at uh, 26, and if you see it grayed out, that's perfect. That's exactly what you wanna see. Now let's say for example, we have an inventory change on Square. What's gonna happen? So let me go into Square actually go in and manipulate this stock. So let me just do, I don't know, damage, remove two of them. So now it's doing the math for you. 26 minus two is equal 24. Let me just hit save and that's it. So now we have inventory here at 24. And if I go back to all products and you're gonna see it still hasn't updated. And the reason for this is because this plugin is only going to automatically sync once an hour. So if you make a whole bunch of transactions at the square level, it's not gonna push over to WooCommerce automatically for every hour. And if you go back into that setting where we just were, I'm gonna keep this open. You're gonna see where it's gonna sync next time. So if I go here, you can see right here, next sync is at 318. And as of recording this, it's 225. So the good news with this syncing though, is let's say, we made a purchase on the WooCommerce level. When a customer checks out, it's going to check that inventory at Square to make sure that it's up to date. So it will do it when somebody is about to check out, but it's not gonna automatically just update on your website all the time. So if you do wanna change that, you can come back into branding. And if I go down to the inventory, this button right here where it says fetch stock from Square. So what that's gonna do is automatically fetch it. So as you can see, it changed to 24. So here we go, 24, and like we said in square, it's at 24. So now if I hit update, this is gonna now show correctly, and it's gonna be back in sync. So let me go back into inventory, and you can see it's back to gray. So we're back to where we should be. This says 24 right here, and everything is good. Now we're gonna do it the opposite way, where we're gonna change the inventory on the WooCommerce, and we're gonna see how it works with the square. So let me go back into branding here, and under inventory, and we just click here. And I'll click right here so I can actually change this quantity. So let me change this down to like a 20. So now WooCommerce is at 20, and what it's doing right now is it's actually syncing automatically to Square. So like I said, if somebody made multiple purchases on WooCommerce, it's always gonna push over to Square first. So now if I hit refresh, we don't have to do anything else. It's gonna automatically change this to 20. So now you can see it changed the inventory right over here to 20. Go over here and you can see it's at 20. So that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful as I found out that there wasn't a lot of good documentation when it came to learning how to sync your WooCommerce and your Square accounts together. Now I definitely recommend when you're doing this, if you run into issues, refer back to this blog post right here. This helped me out quite a bit. So if you do continue to run into more problems, um, I would recommend reaching out to Square first, seeing if it's a limitation on their end. Then you can actually reach out to WooCommerce support and see if they can help you out. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release more videos like this. Thanks again. This is Mark.